Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm Nicole. If you're new, you haven't seen any of my videos, hi, <laughs> I'm Nicole. Um, I do a bunch of like different videos, makeup videos, vlogs, weird, funny ones, like there's a little bit of everything. I'm pretty sure you can find something that you can like. Um, but yeah, as you can tell from the title today, I'm doing Kalani's kind of like everyday skincare routine guide to like, you know, glowing face type of thing she did for um, Vogue. She came out with this video, or Vogue came out with this video a few days ago, so I got really excited and because her album also recently came out, which, which is bomb by the way, um, <laughs> her album recently came out and I kind of just like saw the video and I'm like, yes, I need to do this. So, um, without further, I keep on clapping so much, I'm sorry. <laughs> but without like rambling on and on, I really hope I executed this all right, I did my very best. Um, but yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, that's it for my skincare. Um, I've done my skincare routine, um, just to whiz through that until this video isn't too long. Um, the only thing I'm going to do before that I haven't done is put some lip balm on. This is just Karma X, I'm going to go the greatest lip balm, but it does the job before the makeup. Okay, um, I've done basically, like I said, all my skincare. So I've, I've, I've also put SPF. Um, the first thing I would take is this Honest Beauty, like, Magic Beauty Balm. Now I am going to prime, I'm going to use the Nip and Fab Peach Primer Essence. This is a primer that I have here. I don't have a primer balm right now. Um, I do have it back home at Germany. But I don't have it on me right now. And this is kind of like a bit glowy and hydrating. So it kind of helps for those areas. I just put this all over my face in general. So I'm going to take a little bit and I'm going to put it in my drier areas so my forehead gets really dry under the makeup, picks up makeup weird, my nose. Okay, and now for my oilier areas, I'm going to use the Baby Skin Primer um, by Maybelline, um, which is kind of like just like a pore filler. It just kind of fix, fixes my makeup a little bit better. And I have a bit of texture too. My skin isn't the greatest right now. Okay, so what does she do next? So my first step that I'm going to use is the Pat McGrath foundation. Okay, um, she's using foundation straight up. Um, she's using Pat McGrath. I've never used Pat McGrath and I don't have it. So Fenty Beauty is, I feel like it's the closest thing that I could um, have as a high-end foundation. Or the Armani one, I think. I'll just go for this one and do like two pumps. Okay. And then she did um, wet her spray with wet her spray, wet her sponge with the um, um, prep and prime from Mac. I don't use that spray anymore. Um, I prefer like these things. My sponge is already damp. I just sprayed it a little bit with that, so it kind of has like you know the setting spray to help me set my face. If that makes any sense. I remember the first time I went on tour and I couldn't afford a makeup artist. It was my first tour. Um, I walked into the Mac store and i grabbed the first person i can see and she's actually a, a really a pretty cracking like latina influencer and i just said yo do show me a basic face and whatever you put in front of me i'm gonna buy and whatever she put in front of me that day i bought that she used on my face but i basically just evolved from that basic face that she taught me i have like this is like a little bit thicker it's it's a nars foundation so i'll take this and like get some of the spots that I feel like that other foundation couldn't get like okay she went in with another foundation and um I feel like for a lighter dewier glow she did use my sheer glow um this is the Giorgio Armani luminous silk foundation the closest thing I have I used to use um sheer glow but I don't have it right now so like she just did just apply on the areas that I feel like I need it a little bit more and since my skin isn't feeling the greatest right now I, I, I'm actually quite thankful. Right there, that breakout, my chin. She was talking about um, how when she was first starting like music and everything, and she went to basically the Mac store and they taught her how to like you know do her face, and she just bought everything. Then I remember when I first started to get into makeup and stuff, I went into Mac and I was just like, okay, I was so overwhelmed and I was so shy. Because um, I just like I didn't want to like ask for them to teach me, and I didn't have like money exactly to buy absolutely everything or anything that they put in front of me. So I remember the first thing I bought was like Mac Prep, Prep and Prime, um, a cream sheen lipstick, which was like really really light. I would actually love that right now, but for the longest time I just didn't like it afterwards. 
afterwards, but it's like, it's nice to know, like, even celebrities at the very beginning when <laughs> they're starting out makeup or they didn't have, like, a makeup artist that would do their makeup for them at the very beginning, most of us actually went to the Mac store to try to figure it out and start somewhere, so, <laughs> I mean, I don't know, it's, like, nice, so we can, we can relate to that. <laughs> so I got my foundation and I dropped my lip liner, but it doesn't matter. So I use NARS, I don't know which way, I think this is correct, to do my contouring or my highlights first. Okay, she moves on to concealer, just like I do, with like, no, no makeup routine. She's using NARS, um, what's it called? It's a creamy concealer, that's, that's what it's called, the creamy concealer. <laughs> but I feel like I'm gonna use I want to use the Revolution only, but I'm going to use a little bit of this one to have like a fuller, dry, a little bit more drying like coverage. So, so it's there because, you know, we're just putting this in the main themes of the crime here. My nose. I always get like dark spots, like weird spots here. Like it just gets weird there. So next, I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty steak. Love you, Rihanna. Oh, oh no. She's moving on to contour. Hold on. This baby girl has got really dark under eye circles. Hold on, give me a second. I ain't perfect like you, Kalani, okay? And I look really fucking pale too, but it is what it is. It is what it is. It is, it is what it is. Funny, look at me. It's not like I'm not matching. <laughs> I'm just this pale anyway. She's moving on to contour now. Now I'm, I'm getting all around. I can't do this. What's going on? Where's my eyebrushes? Down fucking down. I can't find my brushes. She's using um, Rihanna's Fenty contour sticks and I definitely don't have that. I can't wait to try them though, but for now, it's going to be my revolution. And yes, it's broken. I broke it the other day. It snapped in half, so there we go. I'm just going to use this shade right here, the lighter one. I don't do my nose because I just don't understand how that works. It's very crazy to me. Okay, she doesn't contour her nose, so she goes around and dots around her face. Oh, she also contours her chin. She also contours her chin, people. She does this. I mean, we definitely don't have the same chin type, but I'm gonna try it, I've never done that. And she uses her sponge. Nice, nice. Nice. Mm, 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 mm. I'm going to set with the Laura Mercier setting powder. Ooh, girl. She uses a lot of Mercier setting powder. That powder is my favorite, aside from the RCMA. But like I said, most of my makeup's at home. I can't do anything about it. I'm very sad because I wish I had all my stuff so I could create a bunch more new looks and like use the actual products. But you know, we're we're working with this <laughs> quarantine style. It's as if I've gone on, on a really, really long holiday, so. RCMA, no color powder. I just have it departed into this thing so it's just easier to take out. So, okay, she used a thick brush. Damn, boy, he's thick! I'm, I'll, I'll do that. Um, but that doesn't mean I can't. So, I'm gonna use, um, this is my usual one that I use. It's the same brush as the old version, as the new one. I'm just gonna use the clean one. It's the same, I use the same, this, this, this one is one I used to set, like, my underwear and stuff. But I'm gonna use a clean one, just so we can, like, do what she did. I'm gonna look like a ghost really quickly, so she just packs it on in kind of like a triangle shape. So, first, I'm gonna take my 24-hour brow setter from Benefit. She's doing her brows now. Um, she does the gel first, which I've done before. Um, it works too, it works fine. Um, I'm using the ADH one. She has a Benefit Brow Setter, I think it's called. She, she's doing that. I'm doing this. So I'm just gonna do my real lashes, which I've been taking really good care of and using castor oil for. I don't use castor oil. Curl them. Okay, she's using um, mascara. She has, I think, the Lancome Grandios. Maybe it looks like it. I'm not entirely sure. Don't know. And then I think she goes in with the Kat Von D one. I've never used Kat Von D mascara. I don't know. I barely have even looked at Kat Von D products, except from the ones that she's always had. So she does mascara first, which is interesting. 
I've never done it in this order. And she does like the outer corner bit first. If I don't do the first bit, it just will hang. So. I don't layer mascaras because I only use this one now because it's good enough for me. But I used to do that too. It's cool. There's no like right or wrong way to do makeup in my opinion. It's just all different techniques and the way you do this always has like a different outcome. Everyone has like a different outcome, different look. So that's why I never say like if there's a wrong way of doing mascara or a wrong way of doing a wrong order or anything like that because there isn't, there really isn't. It's an art, so there are no rules. And because there are no rules, you can essentially just do whatever the F you want. <laughs> so I'm gonna wipe this off before it gets too powdery on my face. I'm gonna do some bottom lash. I think I need to do, just give myself a little more color in the face. So I use this like YSL like blush. She used liquid blush and this is a YSL br brush, blush. And I've never used YSL liquid blushes on myself before. And I'm just, I just have this one right now. So I think I have a liquid one at hand. Um, so far I've had everything she's used, so I'm happy about that. She just, she thought of it like this. Liquid blush thing, I just, I just do this a little bit. I don't even know if that's the right way to go about it, but that's just how I do it, so. Who knows? Can I take one of these? She uses a dual fiber brush, like mine, and she stamps it on, like so. I kind of like buff it in, but, you know. Let's stamp it on today. Now I feel like I have a lot, so I just need to go back for my beauty blender. She goes back with this because she put a little bit too much, so I'm going to do the same. I also feel like I put a bit too much, but thank God. Alright, now I think I can do my brows. So I'm back to my benefit brow pencil. Okay, she's doing her brows now, which I was like, okay. <laughs> um, she's using the Benefit Brow Pencil. I've tried those products before, I haven't bought them since. Not because I don't like them, but because, I don't know, I just didn't think of buying them first. So, this reminds me, I need to buy Benefit Brows again soon. She's like brushing them up a little. And then she does the line. She kind of, she doesn't like me. Well, not like me. We do the same technique. She actually goes in with her left brow first. I got with my right one. And she's also right handed, so. I just thought that was interesting. And I do save my eyebrows for last because I was terrified. And the next thing I know, I'm wiping my eyebrows off a million times. So I'm just trying to make sure that it isn't too heavy in the front because no one likes a Sharpie brow. I've messed mine up already. Damn it. We'll see. You don't know until they're done. Now I just gotta like clean these things up. I know they probably look a little harsh right now, but wait till it all comes together. Concealer now. Okay, concealer, concealer. Concealer, concealer. We're gonna use the concealer from the Revolution palette. She didn't say which concealer she was using, so she's probably using the nice sheer, um, the nice creamy concealer. So yeah, I prefer using the cream one. So let's see how this goes. I am cleaning up my eyebrows to fake the funk, so nobody knows that I haven't seen my eyebrow lady really since the beginning of the circuit. Okay, I feel like that made the world a difference. I don't know if you can tell, but I feel like I can tell. I wish I could be playing Kalani right now, but we don't want no copyright strikes, so we can't do that. So we're just gonna pretend. You can play Kalani in the background if you want. I'll play it after. So, shout out Super Saint. Black woman owned, black woman created uh, makeup brand. So this is part of hers called the Crayon Case. And right now we're gonna be using these two colors to kind of create this sunset thing that I'm recreating. Okay, she's going straight into eyeshadow. She has this like Crayola, Crayon notebook thing. 
It's a black owned brand. I've always wanted to get my hands on it. I've never been able to, hopefully soon, because they look insane. Um, but she's going for an orange and yellow, and I have this Morphe 35B palette, um, which you can get from the Morphe store. So she's using the yellow and orange. I'm just going to use these two then. Okay, the brush that she's using kind of looks like these brushes, like, you know, long and like, fluffy, but not the... They're a bit more dense compared to the... I think that one was dirty. She dipped into the orange first, so I'm just gonna remove the creases from my eye. I'm not trying to flip you off. I'm generally trying to fix this, because... You know me and my eyes, you know, they crease like a mofo. So, gotta do this, otherwise they're gonna have creasy. So let's pray. I'm gonna... I don't know if she did that, but... Let's pray this works. So I'm gonna take the orange because it's darker. I think the orange she's using is a lot more muted, not as bright. So I'm going to do the same thing on this eye too. I'm going to try not to get all the rest of my face. Right. So yeah, you look pretty cool. I dipped into this one and this one, but I think I'm going to dip into this orange instead. It's a bit more muted because it doesn't look as bright on her eyes. Maybe it's because I am and it's so pale and maybe that's why it looks a little bit different on her because of her skin tone that's beautiful i i i wish <laughs> love the skin you're in that's the lesson of today bring it out with this one now she goes into like this circular shape all the way in but we're gonna get a slightly smaller brush this from her brain and i'm gonna go into the yellow and go into my inner eye. The first brush that I used is the E27 by Morphe, and the second brush that I used is the E22. What well, I'm going to use is the E22 by Morphe. And then she goes in with the yellow and just packs it on her on lid. The middle to kind of do this like sunset y type of thing. I know most people might like probably use an eyebrow primer so it can show up more, but I didn't intend for it to be like that bright. I want it to be a little more subtle than that, so that's why I didn't use a primer. Okay, she said she didn't want it as intense, but I can't help it. It does feel like a nice little sunset. I'm just gonna where is it? I'm just gonna fix this little F up that I had. I recently got this Juicy Couture, whatever this says, Bling Queen highlighter. I'm only gonna use a little bit, but I like that it's liquid because to me it just like hits the sun in a different way. But I'm only gonna- It goes into liquid highlighter. I have a Nip and Fab one. Um, she uses a sweet vetele. She used a Juicy Couture one. I've never used any Juicy Couture products. I use a little bit right here because I'm also gonna use a- She used it right in the center. Now this hurts a bit so I'm just gonna try to spread it out. She just concentrated it right here at the beginning. At the, like, you know, very front of her cheekbone. She didn't go all the way back. She just kind of blended it here. That's what I'm tempting to do. Laura Mercier, gold ass, whatever this. She uses the gold ass. Um, Laurie Mercier highlighter. I don't have that one. I'm using Becca Champagne Pop. Um, I can't use that gold highlighter. It's too dark for my skin tone. One of these. And just... She goes into like a more thicker brush, like somewhat between a combination of these three brushes. This one I use to highlight because I have a tiny, tiny face. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this one. This is a, a Morphe M510 brush. Size with the face. The temples. And then I'm gonna take a teeny tiny brush. Then she grabbed a smaller brush, um, kind of like this shape, more or less. This is more the E17. So she highlights her inner corner. Like that. Oh, I actually quite like this brush for inner corner highlighting. Oh, thanks, Kalani. What I'm about to show you is the secret to my life. If I could marry this compact, I probably She's would. Probably gonna use so I'm just gonna take the this brush. Just take a little bit. You see the difference already? I don't know if you could tell, but I feel like 
I can see the difference. I've been wanting to get my hands on that powder for years, and I mean years, and I haven't been able to get it, so. Our CMA powder it is, it's still like loose powder, so. So just like little minor areas like your laugh lines or right around the chin. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that all I have left to do is to spray my face. So I'm just gonna set it. And I feel like this spray just makes it look like you've had makeup on all day versus just applied it. Um, Cause no one wants the in She uses Fix Plus on her face. I don't have Fix Plus right now, so it's Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. Right and go. Instant, you know, cake situation. And then I'm gonna take my Urban Decay All Nighter. Oh, it's a good thing with All Nighter. I used to love that spray. So okay. before I do my lips, I would like to just double check that I have cleaned my nose ring. I don't off. have a nose ring, so I don't need to do that. No one likes. I just need to clean my nose ring. Everybody knows I love lip gloss. I don't go nowhere without lip gloss, like ever in a trillion zillion years. So first I'm gonna take lip liner. I use various shades of MAC liner. Depending on how dark I wanna go this, I already did an eye, so I don't wanna go like too intense. Too. She didn't say which MAC lip liner she used, but it kind of looks like my Frenchy one. Put your light out, but. I might overline the top lip a little bit. Um, but I try not to. It's usually by total accident because I can never get a straight line. Just how I don't know if you guys noticed that I definitely got concealer in my eyebrow, but I'm just not good with the straight lines. Oil, clear gloss is super hydrating. So, and I get just like the rest of my face, my lips get really dry. So, I don't have clear gloss on me right now. It's actually on its way. I think it's a star right day, but. That hasn't gotten here by the time I'm filming this video. So I'm just gonna use this, um, what is this? Is this a Riva product? Where's the, oh, the labels come off. It's like rubbed off. Okay, so I think this was a Zoeva um, lip gloss, I think. It might've been Catrice, but I'm pretty sure it's Zoeva because the shade is spread your wings and it has like this gold. It's clear with gold um, specks on it. So that's as clear as I can get. Or I grab a pink one. So we're just gonna try this out and if it doesn't work, I'll grab a pink one. You can use dollar store lip gloss, you can use beauty supply lip gloss, who cares? That is my face for the day. Let's see. Hope you like it. Hope you try it. Um, shout out to anybody that's ever taught me a tip or a trick as to how to do it better. But yeah, I appreciate it and I hope you enjoy. That's it for our makeup, guys. Like, let me just let me just put my hoops on because I don't like doing my makeup with earrings because I got makeup on them. Um, but yeah, um, this is kind of like her look. Um, this is the first time me not like actually powdering my entire face. So I kind of do feel a little bit like I can't touch my face. <laughs> but it's okay. I had fun creating this. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel either, please subscribe. Like. You can over here as well subscribe. <laughs> I really appreciate that too. Um, but yeah, if you um, have heard the album, are gonna listen to the album, just leave me a comment down below. Anything really, if you like the look. I think I did all right. I kind of feel a bit odd not putting like <laughs> shadow underneath because my eyes get creasy. But I think like with her trick with the brush and to leave it there a little bit more, not exactly faking like it's like a baby fake. I think it really worked out. So I'm quite happy with this. You know. I'm quite happy. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!